The explosions began early this morning, followed by gunfire. Terrified residents running for cover as militants stormed this compound. What noises did you hear first thing in the morning? First noise was uh, rocket launching. Rocket launching. Yeah. Hitting everywhere. They were hitting everywhere. Everywhere. This was their target, an American base near the airport. Tell me about how many weapons they had and how much damage they could have caused. Taban. They had grenades, rocket launchers, and AK-47s, this policeman tells us. With the base in lockdown and helicopters overhead, Afghan forces fought back after a five-hour siege, killing all seven of the militants without a single civilian hurt. The uh, coalition was prepared to help, but frankly, they didn't ask for our help and didn't need it. Let's take a look upstairs. Inside the compound, the stench of gas and death filled the air. All of these are bullet holes, and you can see the burn marks on the wall. Everywhere, the floor was littered with shell casings and some things too gruesome to broadcast. Take a look at this. This balcony here, this is the area that the militants were trying to take over. And just look at how close it is to Kabul airport. NATO calls this operation a success, but as we saw upstairs... But you can see that there is a hole. One of the rockets did hit the base, blasting a hole through an airplane hangar used by the American embassy. Oh, wow. It's another proof that even after a decade of war, the Taliban can still strike deep into the heart of the capital. Mohammed Leela, ABC News, in Kabul.